and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition History Lesson. Today we're doing the Mongols. Let's begin. The Mongols were nomads from the steppes of Central Asia. They were fierce warriors who fought each other over pasture lands and raided developed civilizations to the east and south. At the beginning of the 13th century, the Mongol clans united and began a campaign of foreign conquest. Following in the hoof prints of the Huns, their predecessors by a thousand years, they carved out one of the largest empires the world has ever seen. Conciseness. Word will be checking you later. The Mongols. Okay, the phone's ringing. You're gonna have to deal with that, I suppose. The Mongols inhabited the plains south of Lake Baikal in northern, in modern Mongolia. At its maximum, their empire stretched from Korea across Asia and into European Russia to the Baltic Sea coast. They held most of Asia Minor, modern Iraq, modern Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Tibet. Parts of India, parts of Burma, all of China, and parts of Vietnam. The Mongol clans were united by Temuchin, called Genghis Khan, mighty ruler in the early 13th century. His ambition was to rule all lands between the oceans, Pacific and Atlantic, and he nearly did so. Beginning with only an estimated 25,000 warriors, he added by strength by sub subjugating other nomads and attacked northern China in 1211. He took Beijing in 1215 after a campaign that may have cost 30 million Chinese lives. The Mongolians then turned west, capturing the great city, great trading city, Bukhara, on the Silk Road, 1220. The city was burned to the ground and then Eben is murdered. Following Genghis Khan's death in 1227, his son, Ogid Ogde, completed the conquest of northern China and advanced into Europe. He destroyed Kiev in 1240 and advanced into Hungary. When that guy died on 1241, the empire, the entire army fell back to settle the question of succession. Europe was spared as Mongol rulers concentrated their efforts against the Middle East and southern China. Hulagu, a grandson of Genghis, exterminated the Muslim assassins and then took the Muslim capital of Baghdad in 1258. Muslim cities, 100,000 Abbans, were murdered. 1260, a Muslim army of Egyptian Mamluks, warriors slaves of high status, defeated the Mongols in present-day Israel, ending the Mongol threat to Islam and its holy cities. Kublai Khan, another grandson of Genghis, completed the conquest of China in 1279, establishing the Yuan Dynasty. Attempted invasions of Japan were thrown back with every loss in 1274 and 1281. In 1294, Kublai Khan died in China, and the Mongol Empire, the Mongol power, began to decline in Asia and elsewhere. In 1268, the Wan Dynasty in China was overthrown in favor of the Ming. So, uh, okay. In 1370s, the Turkish Mongol warrior, claiming descendants from Genghis Khan, fought his way to the leadership of the Mongol states of Central Asia and set out to restore the Mongol Empire. His name was Timurling. Tamerlang. With another army of 100,000 or so, he swept into Russia and Persia, fighting mainly other Muslims. In 1398, he sacked Delhi, murdering 100,000 inhabitants. He rushed with defeating, as, excuse me, defeating in the Egyptian Mamluk army in Syria. 1402, he defeated a large Ottoman Turk army near modern Ankara. On the verge of destroying the Ottoman Empire, he turned again suddenly. He died in 1405 while marching for China. He preferred capturing wealth and engaged in wholesale slaughter without pausing to install stable governments in his wake. Because of this, the huge realm inherited by his sons fell apart quickly after his death. I will be back next out with the Persians. See you then.